What's going on guys? It's Simo here at YCS Fort Worth with your second place finisher. What is your name? My name is Rafael Nevin. All right, so uh, why did you, well, first of all, would you play? I play pure orcas. So why did you decide to play pure orcas for this event? I think this this uh, format has a lot of uh, viable decks. It's very, uh, it's a very open format. Uh, nothing is really too powerful, which is I don't really like, but orcas has the unique like ability to play with one card and then the other cards in your hand, like four or five cards, can be anything that beats this meta. So hand traps or utility cards. Uh, I just that 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 alone makes the deck really good for uh, long events because in Switch you just face so many things you already have stuff in your main deck for because like your engine is so small, uh, like one normal summon does it all. So like um, that's why the deck was really good for this format. I think. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's we'll see what you got. See it. Oh, there's a prize. Prize card. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Card. Also, oh, yeah. something like a lot of people ask me why I didn't play Moonlight Orcus, and they're probably gonna do it now even more because I lost lost to it. Uh, I think that deck is just really like uh, a glass cannon. Um, I thought it was really good. I tested it a lot, but I felt like that too much had to go right for it, and. Uh, like in Swiss, I really wanted something more like I, I chose consistency over power basically. So that's why. All right. Um, so the normal summons, uh, free Ibli. Um, one of my friends played Mathematician. Uh, I play Ibli. Uh, Ibli is just absolutely insane because it plays around Ash, it plays around Nibiru, it gives Sky Striker a card so that you cold wave them basically. Uh, it's also really good to draw like later on because then you can reborn Cerberus or Phoenix and go easy ball sort. Uh, yeah, this card is absolutely insane. Uh, and then free Scrap Recycler and an Armageddon Knight. So we max out on Scrap Recycler now. Uh, this is something from Gen from two weeks ago. I didn't play free Scrap Recycler, but now we went for the maximum seven normal summons. Because any of these normal summons, of course, does the entire thing you want to do with the Orcus cards. And uh, you just need to open one. Uh, opening two is fine, like I said, like because one card does everything. All of these other cards can be whatever you need, hand traps or, or utility cards. So it was just really important that you see one. Um, yeah, and Ibli is just so good in this meta, like it's crazy. Uh, then for the extenders, play two Link Slayer. Um, the best card. Yeah, this card's pretty insane. Like um, I, I really dislike dangers in this kind of deck because this kind of deck plays so many utility cards and hand traps, which makes the deck really good because you normal summon this. You do your stuff and you have four cards in hand that stop your opponent. But as soon as you're gonna roll for dangers and you risk discarding those cards, sure you get like a blank card in return, but that could be any Orcus card or extender that you don't need at that point instead of the hand trap you discarded. So I was playing Jester Confi. It's a, le a level one, it's a clown that says you can special summon it. That's all it does basically. Uh, because I just, the extenders I wanted to, to have were just the ones that you summon. But then on, um, Saturday morning, one of my uh, testing partners from DP, Nash, um, gave me this card and he said like, you have to play this instead of Jester Comfy because it just, it does a lot, a lot more than Jester. Which is true, like, so it is an, ex uh, an extender, You, if you have this in a normal summon, you special this, normal summon that, and then they have to choose what to ash and what to negate. Because if they uh, negate that, you just of course go mermaid effect, and if they don't uh, negate that, you have harp. So you have already an extra layer of play. But this card outside of that, this does a lot more because you can discard up to two cards to discard back, to destroy back row. It's also 2000, so it beats over wolf. And it's like, it's a cyber dragon. So it's like, it has way more utility than Jester. So I was really glad that last minute I changed that. Uh, and uh, yeah, just, this card's pretty, pretty busted right now. And like, in like a format with a lot of slow decks, like Sky Strike, this card is so good against Sky Strike, which it forces them to negate one, and that's just your special summon. So then you normal summon, and they pr probably have to negate that as well. And then you still have the Nightmare play, which Phoenix is another bait, uh, bait another negate, and there you go Mermaid. So that was really good. Orcs cards. Uh, this is standard. I don't have anything to say about this. Uh, I drew this way too much, but uh, whatever. Uh, Gizmax still really good. I would absolutely not cut that. Um, yeah. Uh, hand traps. Free Phantasme. Phantasme is so good this format. Like it's, it's basically good against everything except pure thunder. And especially in America, people really don't play that. <laughs> Even though I played against Andres, Andres Torres twice, who played pure thunder, but <laughs> like. But yeah, this, this card is really good. Uh, of course, Salomon Great, the Mirror, and Sky Striker. Uh, you just help so much fixing the hands, fixing if you draw this idiot. Like, you just want to get rid of that. Free Nibiru, uh, 
Yeah, the Nibiru is still really good in this deck, even going first, because you just set up some recovery from next turn, and if they have to, they have to break your board. Um, I like to set up Babel, because I, I, I told this in Lithium's video, I don't know how many people already know about it, but if you have Babel, and they do their stuff, you have Galatea, and you're just chilling, and they, and they summon five times, you can activate Nibiru. They can change any of your, uh, chain any of your office cards, because you have Babel. Then uh, this resolve as far as possible, tributing the field, but doesn't summon itself because it's a light, uh, because you're locked on the darks, and also doesn't give them a token. So I really like to set up Babel with uh, this in hand because you will never die, uh, and it makes them play really weird because they know they have to break the field, but they also can't summon five times. Free Ash because it's just like it's it's the the, the best. I wouldn't say it's the best tundra, but it's like it's overall over all the decks, it's the most safe to play. Um, so it, yeah, just really good to have, and then free impermanence. Um, we were back and forth on like impermanence, yes or no. Uh, but this is one of the few handjobs that works against Luna, so that's why it's here. Um, spells, uh, free cosmic psych. I'm really glad I played this. This is also what I'm talking about. These are these are some of the utility cards that different decks cannot really play. Like if you play Luna Orcus, you can't play this stuff. And this just doesn't let you lose game ones against Subterra, Altergeist, but there can only be one in Sky Striker. It has so much use. Uh, and in the mirror, of course, you just. Uh, because you know where the Crescendo is, so, so this is just a one for one, but it takes their main negate. So that is really good. Uh, Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn has so many uses, and it's, of course, also an extender. It's, it's really good for this burial. And then Insufusion. Insufusion is probably the best spell in the deck because it is, is an extender. Uh, it gets rid of stuff with Files Nights, but it's also FTK with the Winda, so... Yeah, uh, for the Orcus cards, two return. I'm really, really liking this card right now. Um, it makes drawing the stuff, like the, the Orcus cards, of course, a lot uh, better. And uh, it's really good to have in your deck against, like, grindy matchups. Like, a lot of times I ended on Babel, uh, Galatea. Uh, and just get this every like turn after turn and just get free draws uh, in, in grindy matchups and I won't send them. I was playing twin again. Uh, we cut it for for to one because we expected more combo matchups, which it which did. I played against Goki twice, played against Dino Orcus, I played against um, Thunder Orcus, so like uh, having double crescendo is really good if you expect slower decks, like if you expect more Sky Striker. It did the job. 41 cards. Always 41. Always 41. Always. So, uh, extra deck, uh, the fusions, um, two Dingirsu, uh, two Mermaid, absolutely need two Mermaids if you play two Ibli, like, it comes up a lot that you just, um, because uh, this one also summons Ibli, of course, so you can go Ibli, so summon this, summon another Ibli from your deck and give them Ibli, like, uh, so you always have targets for this, and it's just really good to have a second one. Uh, the other Nightmares, uh, Unicorn is good, but there's no space for it. Uh, free Galatea, of course, one year soon. Uh, Bomber Dragon and Bolsor. And this is something different as well. Like, uh, we cut the Sky Striker cards because we couldn't really justify the uh, Kagari anymore. Uh, so we played Trisbania because Trisbania is absolutely broken against Sky Striker. Uh, because it really helps when you, let's say, you go into your Phoenix play, you discard Harp, and they go, uh, you, you, you target something, whatever happens, it doesn't matter. And then if they can only bonus, you can't go into Mermaid. But then you can use the Harp to special summon anything, like. Symbol or nightmare, then you can go into Tisbania and then you can use the wand or the symbol, whatever you summon, uh, or like sorry, nightmare send symbol, uh, send one, uh, whatever. So, like, you make the Tisbania and then you summon something to clear their entire back row, especially with Ibli because Ibli, of course, is a cold wave against Sky Striker. Uh, like, sometimes you just can't kill them through uh, through the ray, but that doesn't matter if they have shark cannon anchor anchor set or engage with multi roll because you you ibli them and then you make this bania you clear the entire field you deal to 2k and you pass storm if you like so that's why your uh just bania was really really good as well i'm really glad i played that card uh for side deck uh last minute we put in two crows because uh crows is very versatile right now uh i guess a lot of matchups uh i also Wanted to have more against Salamangri because my side wasn't really prepared for Salamangri, but I still respect the matchup. Uh, free Lancia, of course, like nothing to say about the Lancia. Uh, free Cobble the Grave. So Cobble the Grave in the main is a bit weird if you uh, if you uh, go second. Uh, I lost a lot of die rolls today, so I'm glad I didn't main it. But after siding, you need it because no material Lancia exists. And it's also one of the few cards in the mirror that are really good, even if you go second or first, doesn't matter. Because you don't know what your opponent is gonna do with you. Uh, if they play going second Orcus, which is very popular in America. 
Uh, but Culver the Grave is always good because if you go first, then it's self-explanatory. If you go second, you can bait out the symbol ding play or... So, this is good either way. So, um, and then free mind control. Uh, mind control is just busted, like... Salaman Great, Mirror, like... Thunder Dragon. And free twins, and then uh, Mega Fleet because it's... I, I wouldn't personally play Cyber Dragon uh, Orcus because I don't think it's that consistent, but I still respect the matchup. Like, you can easily lose to it. Uh, so I just want to like one card that does so much against one specific matchup is just too good in the play. Um, so that was the side deck. Uh, yeah, shoutouts to shoutouts to my testing circle: Vlad, uh, Luke, Darren, Pierre, uh, the guys who came with me: Josh, Hassan, um, the guys from DB, Nash. Uh, nice boy. Very glad I can talk to you guys. Everyone who supported me. I got so many nice messages over the weekend uh, of everyone who's supporting me. I'm really Sad I couldn't make it for you guys, but next time. And of course, uh, my new team, Team Jobber. Yeah. My first wife is playing for them. Um, glad it worked out, sort of. So. Yeah, I think that's it. Perfect. Thanks so much. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. One, one, one shout out to uh, Nerdy Jersey. <laughs> Superman it, bro. I like it. That's it. Congratulations, Raph. Yeah, congrats, Raph. Appreciate it. One very important shout out um, La Conde de Baron. It's a French store on Facebook, and uh, they hooked me up with all these nice uh, OCG products like sleeves, uh, deck boxes. So go check them out on Facebook as well if you're uh, interested in that kind of stuff.